Hi, this is Tony again with the third part of the daily tip. Uh, I think yesterday we talked about uh, co-op advertising or solo ad advertising, and I just uh, wanted to go a little bit deeper on in on this uh, subject. I uh, said also that I would explain a little bit of the calculation, but first I want you just to watch for a few minutes. Um, short video where it is explained what are the benefits and what is a co-op solo ad adverti uh, advertisement. An advertising co-op is when MLM or network marketing representatives combine their advertising dollars together. And they do this because the larger ad budget pays for a bigger marketing campaign. And bigger marketing campaigns get more attention in the marketplace and they can actually generate more prospects. So for example, let's say you've got 10 distributors in the same opportunity, but they only have a small ad budget each, and they go out and they place tiny classified ads, or they do small online advertising. Well, they will only generate a small number of prospects, but if they were to combine that money and place a larger full page ad, let's say, in a network marketing or home business publication, or do a very large solo email campaign online, they would actually generate a lot more prospects with that larger ad campaign than with each individual smaller ad campaign. And so that's one of the major benefits of doing these uh, advertising co-ops. And then as the uh, ad co-op runs, then everybody in the co-op splits the leads and or sales equally. Now in some instances, everybody just splits leads so an ad runs leads come in everybody gets a certain number of leads and then is, it is up to the individual distributor to go ahead contact those prospects and try to convert them into representatives into their company in other instances the ad co-op actually promotes a marketing funnel or a marketing system and then the funnel actually converts them into new distributors so then basically everybody gets an almost equal share of sales or distributors that's kind of the basics of an how, how an advertising co-op works. And again, it's not brain surgery, it's not rocket science, it's pretty easy to understand. There are a lot of little strategies that make them work uh, better, but that's kind of the basics of running an ad co-op. Now let's talk about the benefits and why you should be doing advertising co-ops. The first thing basically is it builds your downline faster. I mean, one individual who spends a certain amount of money um, trying to build their downline in any particular opportunity, you know, you're going to go at a particular pace. But when you can create advertising co-ops and you get 10 like-minded people together or 20 like-minded people together who all pool their money together, and uh, especially if these people in your own are in your own organization, and you start placing some large ads, start doing some large email campaigns, doing a lot of online and offline marketing, you can bring in a lot of new distributors and then those distributors can participate in the next ad co-op and you bring in even more and all those people can now participate in the next one and the next one and the next one so really what you see when you start doing advertising co-ops is that you build your downline a lot faster than if you were to do it all by yourself without um, involving a team in doing the ad co-ops another great benefit of ad co-ops is that you build your downline without deep pockets if you don't have a large advertising budget running an ad co-op can be your key to generating that large downline without spending a lot of money out of your own pocket. In fact, I have personally done it, I know people have done it as well, who've become top earners in a very short period of time simply by doing advertising co-ops. Um, also, you create faster downline duplication. One of the real challenges in network marketing is duplication. You know, if you know marketing, in some cases it can be easy to convert prospects who are looking for an opportunity into a distributor. But a lot of distributors who get involved in a new network marketing opportunity don't know how to duplicate. They don't duplicate your particular efforts. So you might be working really hard around the clock, but you might have distributors who aren't doing the same thing, or they're confused, or they don't know what to do. Well, when you do the work for them, and all they're doing is contributing their ad dollars to the ad budget, but you're running the ads, and you're running the system, and you're doing all of that for them, you're going to create faster downline duplication because you're taking it out of the hands of your downline. So you might have 100 people in your organization, let's say 95 of them do little, little or nothing, 
Well, if you don't rely on them to do anything, and the only thing they need to do is, you know, give you a little bit of money to join the advertising co-op, well, now those 95 aren't a detriment. They're not just, you know, sitting there in your organization. Now they've generated some ad dollars for you to go out and place advertising and help them build their organization. So it creates downline duplication by kind of taking it out of their hands, at least out of the hands of people who aren't going to do anything or maybe don't understand enough to do anything just yet. And then finally, it gives you the resources to, to develop more responsive ads, banners, systems, etc. Because part of doing an advertising co-op, you don't have to spend 100% of every dollar that comes in only on advertising. Now that advertising co-op is meant to pay to create um, higher converting banners, higher converting emails, pay for copywriters, pay to have systems put together, you know, pay for the marketing campaign. So it's not only paying for the advertising placement, it's paying to have the ads created as well. So if you don't have the money to pay for a copywriter or a banner designer, well, when you do an advertising co-op, you can use some of those funds to have responsive ads and banners and systems put together. So that's one of the major benefits. So those are really the biggest benefits of running advertising co-ops. So as you heard, uh, the man was talking about how to set up uh, advertising co-ops. And uh, as you can see, it's really good system and uh, it builds really fast your downline. You don't have uh, to spend uh, all the money because a lot of money is coming out of uh, re really out of the downline and out of the advertising and uh, tomorrow we're going to talk a little bit about uh, calculations and uh, where to put your solo ads or where to do your advertising well I hope uh, you enjoyed uh, this daily tip and I talk to you tomorrow I'll see you tomorrow